red strings for that. Yeah. So I need to make this bigger, but um, yeah. Don't worry. We're getting there. English. Oh, okay. It it full screen now. Okay. All right. Let's let's watch. Do I wait a bit longer? The music seems alright. Don't you love it when it works like pretty much the first time without technical difficulties? Click to start, alright. Oh shit! Grandius. Ah. I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. I wonder when it was. Um, no, th this sentence is wrong. So how would I change this? I wonder when it was that my fate was sealed. With a tie bar. Okay. Never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. Hey Donovan, are you listening? Right, he's the piano man. Hey Donovan, are you listening? You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So the girl from Proxima, Vega, turns out she was just using me to smoke out the mole in the city police. Just sleep with her? Nope. She's not into guys. Anyway, I almost got arrested, but I managed to hack my way out of the bot control car. Patrol car. One day you're gonna get up. What's wrong with me? One day you're gonna end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels. We live in a city ruled by corporations. If I didn't associate with scoundrels, I'd be out of work in no time. So, basically, today sucked. Why don't you hit me up with something? Alright. What do you feel like? Bourbon? Vodka? Tequila? Surprise me. Okay. Let me see what we've got here. Alright. Let's prepare a drink for Brandius. What shall we aim for? Do you see any interesting soul nodes, Newman? Newman. Hmm. Newman? Oh. Last muse must have expired already. Let's see if I can't channel a new one. Wow, the, the, the frame droppage is just insane. Drop frames 5,101. Or 6.7% of the stream. Stinky. <laughs> Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings, and guide my hand to tune into buried emotion. That should do it. Wow. Now, if you can hear me, try to pick up a bottle and move it around. One click to grab it, another click to drop it. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Alright, so, um, bourbon, vodka, I don't know what these other two are. Uh, tequila? Rum? So if I was going to have any of these, I would probably go for, um, just because I haven't tried a lot in my lifetime. Let's go for some tequila. Nice. I'm feeling it already. Now, <clears throat> try to visualize our customer's soul. 
There you go. Now focus. At the Red Strings Club, we don't just serve alcohol. We use spirits to tune into customers' emotions. It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Try to read into Brandius's soul. These are the buried states, states he's carrying right now. The soul notes. Hover the cursor over them to read a brief description. Now, let's bring out one of those dormant emotions. Whatever you pour into this glass will be reflected by the soul disc. Each spirit has a different effect, up, down, left and right. Make the soul disc match with a soul node. Excusez-moi. That's how you make a drink worthy of the Red Strings Club. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. If you ever get lost, you can check your ingredients in the notebook. Alright, so anxiety, pride, regret. I'm not going to read these. So, I reckon it's this one here, the tequila. It's my opinion. Okay. Cool. you uh, mix tequila with? Tequila and vodka? No. No other whiskey. Right. Maybe just like that? I see. Right, we've got to get over the, the top of them. Drink it, bitch. <laughs> Let's try again. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's try some vodka. Alright, so... Okay. Cool. Alright, so you want some... This? No, right there. Okay. That should be sufficient. We'll use the rum now. Keep fucking up. <laughs> All right. All right. So rum makes it go up. Let's get it. Okay. So this unlocks one. It's like rum on the rocks. What took you so long? Well, doing the muse casting thing again? Muse? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I lost my mojo and wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. So I just gave you straight, straight rum. Upster of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laugh after you, laugh after you drink it. You know I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. Okay, that's some okay, in new window there. Ah, that felt good. You like it? Sir Brandius, a glass of pride. You bet. So refreshing. I already forgot about that droid cop beating me down. Also, I should mention that in addition to a ride in the bot in a bot control car. I got out of this job with a beautiful amount of Bitcoin. Oh yeah? How's that? Well, let's just say that Vega turning me into the police wasn't so uncalled for. <laughs> I hate when my employers aren't entirely clear about what they're using me for. So, since it all smelt a bit fishy, let Centauro know that I would be hacking the North District Traffic mainframe tonight. They hired me to delete a couple of data packages from the server which triggered a pair of alarms, and... What the hell? Bar's closed, miss! Ooh, that's very flexible. That's not a drunk person, Brownius. It's an android. Oh, I thought it was some implant fangirl. Get her up and let's see what we got here, won't you? Uh, would you? Right away, sir. Hello, who are you? One eight four. One eight four. Ringing any bells, Donnie? Hmm. It's in pretty bad, pretty bad shape. But I believe this is an Aura Android from Supercontinental, Supercontinent Limited. They still haven't seen the light of day. According to what I've heard, they've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. What the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say this is the first android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in play in the life of any subject. Mining emotional status, social impact, economic repercussions, legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable about this topic? And how come you never told me about this? That's what we information brokers do, Amiga. Share the trivial, sell the relevant. We're supposed to be a team. Exactly, and I got your back. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tried to tries to torture the info out of you? Well, they'd just kill me since I wouldn't have any leverage. Human improvement compromised. Hmm. Okay, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold a second. Hold on a second. You're going to connect your neural drive to this fireworks factory? 